My name is Magnus Nilsson. I'm head of safety and technical compliance here at Volvo Autonomous Solutions. How much can we rely on simulations and how do we ensure that our simulations are as close as possible to real life? Typically, the ecosystem around the simulator consists of many tools that are all dependent on one another. We need to have trustworthy models of vehicles and rely on our sensor model, etc. We have developed a state-of-the-art pipeline using a stepwise approach. This is in order to have the quickest feedback loop in every iteration. Every step means an increase in complexity and an amount of verification from software components to subsystem domains up to complete system. We iterate in software in the loop, hardware in the loop and closed loop simulator to enable the right set of quality before we enter the in-vehicle testing in our proving grounds. For confined space, we call our concept generic site, meaning that we always keep our platform capabilities generically verified in both virtual setup as well in physical environments. Coming back to the framework is not yet ready in terms of standards, legislations, there are many proactive activities the VAS is already working with to enable safety. We secure involvement with governments early in the process where we work together to define what's needed. For instance, the need of permits for aided testing are something that differs between countries and having a close relationship with governments is of the utmost importance. In the end, it means we guarantee safety in our products, solutions and operations.